doing a demo um, of a new guitar, uh, <laughs> I wish, of uh, my buddy in uh, Mississippi uh, I had this guitar shipped out to get repaired. And uh, coincidentally, um, my buddy Dan, uh, who was doing the repair work, um, allowed me to try it along with uh, the permission of my friend uh, in Mississippi. But uh, it's a uh, a national prototype, I believe it was built in the, uh, the early to mid 30s, and I never knew what the guitar really looked like, or I never seen anything like this, but uh, recently I went on the uh, George Barnes Legacy page, and uh, I bought uh, the uh, early recordings of George Barnes, and it came with a great book, and it shows him as a young man uh, sitting in front of a hotel with this very guitar, so, um, you know, of course, I have to play it. Uh, we usually see George play with the Guild guitar, but in those uh, um, very first uh, early home recordings, it was, was something like this. Um, some changes. This is a Lawler uh, steel guitar pickup in the back. Um, the original pickup, uh, was it was all chrome, and I believe it was a blade over it, but I don't know if I, I you know, I'm still yet to see one. But uh, really interesting tone. Uh, fun to play, you know, typical uh, big neck, uh, nice V on it. Uh, the tuners, uh, it's kind of hard to see, but I'm sure you can find uh, other uh, pictures on YouTube. Um, looks awesome. It's just really, really a cool thing. So I was trying to do some George Barnes ideas on this, and um, pretty much I'm playing just a 1 2 5 progression. There's a, a tune loosely uh, based off the stuff I play not not really so don't uh, don't uh, give me a hard time if you buy uh, the CD off of uh, or the, the recordings off of uh, uh, the website go man that sounds nothing like George well of course not I'm, I'm not George but uh, of course I wish I was um, but uh, it's a song called Texas Blues just a one two five now he just plays it as a one two five just 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 jams one two five forever um, I treat it kind of more, um, I put a bridge in there, um, and uh, it's so the, the progression is one, two, five, one dominant for the bridge, four, two, five, one. And so true to form the way I teach, um, when I'm playing over it, I treat everything as a chord shape. I'm trying to do those George Barnes kind of uh, rigs. And... Uh, and I followed up for all the chord shapes. Now when I use the A structure, I kind of just fudge it. I do the same thing, I believe on the second chord, instead of using the E structure major chord, I'm using the B flat uh, sixth chord up here in the C structure. Move to the two chord. Uh, the two chord's dominant, so I like putting that dominant seven in. And then for the five, um, it's a cool trick. I'm just playing uh, that Freddie King chord that I've taught before. And then it's and that's really based off the G structure F. And I just play a diminished uh, scale over it. I just flat the nine. I think I ripped that off of a song called uh, Concerto for Three Minutes. So anyway, um, that's my, my quick review. I wish I owned the guitar. Um, I hope my, uh, my buddy blew it uh, down in the south. Uh, hopefully he sees it and he likes what I'm laying down. Hopefully he doesn't want the guitar back anytime uh, too soon. <laughs> but let me, uh, I'll play a little bit more and... Uh, Check out my uh, website, TommyHarkinRiderGuitar.com. I'll put on the uh, description. Thank you.
Thanks, guys.